Hi YouTube, it's Tracy from Entrepreneur Girl. Today we're going to be talking about scanning apps and more specifically we're going to be talking about the free Amazon Seller Central scanning app that you can download onto your smartphone. I've had so many people ask me to put out this video because we've talked about scanning apps in the past but we haven't specifically talked about the free one that Amazon puts out. So we're going to be covering that today and I think it's just the perfect time to do so because we've been talking about retail arbitrage and online arbitrage and liquidation and purchasing all of these products well a scanning app plays a really big part in that because when we're in the store our app is like our lifeline to making good purchasing decisions and so it's very vital that we have that and that we know how to use it and that we know how to you know, decipher the information that we're getting from it. So that is what we're going to be talking about today. I hope it answers all the questions that you wanted it to. So here we go. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is grab your smartphone and go to the App Store and make sure that you download the free Amazon seller app which is different from the regular Amazon app and you can see that it's black and it's right there on my phone now you're only allowed four spots on the bottom and you can see two of my four spots is eBay and Amazon because I use those so much I just want them front and center like you see right there so now we're going to get into the actual scanning of a product by pushing into our Amazon seller app. Now when I'm in the store, I get this question a lot. Um, how do I scan in the store without being conspicuous? I don't really have any problems with that. So you can comment down below your experiences, but I'm pretty kind of, um, just act like I'm texting. I guess if I were to be asked, I would say I was price checking because that is a true statement. I'm checking the price on Amazon. But um, I just, you know, just kind of quickly and nonchalantly scan right in front of me. Now you want to make sure that you're scanning the barcode on the bottom of the package. Sometimes they try to be slick and they put their store barcode over the barcode so that you can't scan it. Um, so a lot of times I will actually peel off the store barcode so that I can scan it with my app. You have to scan every single item before you buy it. And the reason for that is because you don't want to underestimate Amazon fees. You don't want to not make a good purchasing decision. And so if I can't scan it, say I'm having trouble with the internet or having trouble with my phone or I ran out of battery life on my phone, then I will actually postpone my trip because when you buy a product is when you make your money or lose your money and so I'm very very careful to have my apps on my phone and also to have my phone charged and also to have a secondary quick charge for my phone with me what I remember um, so that I always have my scanning apps available so now let's move to the screen so I can show you how to you know what to click and how to evaluate it. Okay, so here on my phone. Now here at the top, you can either manually enter in the name or the barcode of the product, or you can click onto your camera to scan a product, which of course is the fastest way and the way that I always try. So here you can see it trying to take a picture. I'm going to take one of our products and I'm going to scan and then this is what comes up. Okay, so on this screen what you really want to do is scroll and make sure that the product you're looking at for price matches the exact product that's in front of you. And an example of this would be if you look at the second one, it is a pack of 12 and unless you have a pack of 12, that's not the listing you're looking for. If you look at the third one, then you can see that it is 100 count. And the boxes that we're looking at is actually 40 filters. So when I scroll and look at what we have, I can then make sure that I have the right category, like this is in grocery. 
that I have the right count, that I have the right color, that I'm actually looking at the exact product that I want. So the first one is what we want because it's in kitchen and most everyone can uh, sell in kitchen, which is kind of an added secondary tip because if you're not ungated in grocery, you can maybe sell the same product, but in a different category. And this is the perfect example of it because they're coffee filters and it is sold both in grocery and, ki and in kitchen. I'm gonna be doing the first one in kitchen. That's a 40 count of the number twos and they're white. So this is exactly our product. So we're gonna click on it. Okay, so the next screen that comes up is this one here. And as you can see, right here it tells you the low price minus the fees and then your gross proceeds and then on the second line it tells you if amazon is selling it which none means they're not if fba se sellers are on it which there are there are three and the fba price is for eight dollars and 49 cents and then new offers there's other competition there's four others and they are from eight dollars and 49 cents so um, you can also see if you are eligible to sell this, this app will protect you from buying something, hopefully, that you are not able to sell. Be mindful of what I said. It may not necessarily be the product, but it might be the category that you're trying to sell it in. So read anything that you see here uh, well. Also, if you see any exclamation points anywhere on the screen, so the very first thing that I look at on this product when I bought it at the liquidation store was, of course, the rank. The rank is up here in the corner. Rank is 83,374. So that's a good rank. Anything in that category under about 120,000, I would consider. I really like to see, as a general rule, everything under 100,000. <clears> if I see around 50,000, then I know it's a fast seller. So I'm happy with this 83,000 rank. Then the next thing I look at is to make sure that yes, you know, of course that's my product. And I want to look at the competition. And this is the screen for the competition. So I can see that I'm not selling against Amazon. I can see that there are three other prime members and that there's only four total competition. So I also really like this screen because, yay, I'm going to be, you know, one of four prime sellers selling this, and, you know, there's just not a lot of competition on it, so that's great. I also, while I'm here, I'm mindful of the lowest price. I'm only concerned with prime because I'm prime, so I'm not gonna be concerned with that $3.50 plus $4.99 shipping. I'm only concerned with $8.49 from one prime, $8.49 from another prime, and then $9.99 from this last prime seller. So I know that my price needs to be between $8.49 and $9.99. I'm also looking at the condition, and I see that we're looking at new, and mine is new, so we are good to go with that. The next thing I wanna do is calculate the fees. So I'm going to click on this top one here and you can see that the first tab is for seller fulfilled and that is the one that you see in orangey red. The next tab is Amazon fulfilled. I have made this mistake so many times so please listen because I know you out there are making this mistake every once in a while too make sure you click on that Amazon Fulfilled button right here because the fees are completely different. I can see that the fees with FBA are $4.26. I need to enter in the shipping to Amazon, which I calculate at about 25 cents or 50 cents, depending on the size of the product. This one is super small and light, so I'm gonna put 25 cents in that one. Then on the cost to purchase, this one cost me $1.19 from the liquidation store, so I'm going to go ahead and enter that one too. Okay, so now that I've entered in everything the way that I want it to be, I can see that my net profit is gonna be $3.21 per box for this product. 
So at the liquidation store, I think they had 10 left. I bought all 10 and I will send them in. Um, the only thing that's not on the Amazon seller app that you do need to be mindful of is if you're paying anything to have it shipped to you, which I wasn't because I was physically at the liquidation store. But had I bought these online, I would need to pay attention to, did I have to spend any money to get it sent to me? The second thing is sales tax. If you paid sales tax, that is not included on this. You, but it doesn't prompt you, it doesn't remind you to think about those two things. So you need to be mindful of it yourself. For this liquidation store, I used my sales tax certificate, so I didn't have any of that. So my true net profit will be $3.21. Now, as you might notice, this does not meet my, I'd like to see over $10 per kind of breaking my own rule. And I want you to see that because I went to the liquidation store and I found a lot of good things. Um, I was there for probably maybe 30 minutes and I literally filled the back of my Jeep. And so in situations like that, if I can buy in bulk, if I can buy, you know, 10 items real quick, then $3.21 net profit isn't so bad because it's the same 30 minute trip and I might have 200 items. See what I'm saying? So when I take this to the store with me and I'm scanning a product, this is the screen that comes up. And this is the same exact screen that you're gonna get when you scan the same exact product. Reselling is a scanning war. That is the whole game when you're out there, guys, is scan, 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 scan. Scan everything. Even things that you don't think are worth scanning, scan anyway, because you will be so shocked all the time. It doesn't matter how long you've been doing this. You will still continuously be amazed at what sells and what sells really well. So I saw these coffee filters. I don't know, I've never sold coffee filters before. I had no clue, right? And if you're new out there, or even you know an old reseller like myself, you don't know, you don't have 100% of the information about 100% of the products. So you're gonna have to scan to see. So when I scan this, I had no idea about this product. Is it a good product? Is it a bad product? Is it gonna sell fast? Is it gonna sell slow? I must have scanned, you know, hundreds of items in this store, but you scan very rapidly and you move on and you're just scanning, 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 move on. But looking at this product in the store, I thought, well, I like the rank, you know, I'm really heavily focused on rank right now because I'm trying to move my, my products quickly. You see in my YouTube videos, I'm trying to change the level of my products. I'm trying to make them better. So I want products that move quickly. So that is really great, especially coupled with the fact that we have very little competition and very little co FBA competition, and we're not selling against Amazon. That means that I bought 10, I'm not going to make a ton of money, but they're going to sell really quick for me. The bottom here, it says scan. So that is the button you're going to hit when you're already on an item and you want to scan another item. And you see the little camera come up. So now I'm gonna scan our next product. Manually enter the name into the search box. You should always do this if you can't find it by scanning it because a lot of times it doesn't come up when you scan, but for some strange reason comes up when you do a manual search. Let's analyze this one now. You can see that the rank in the upper hand corner is 49,836. Well, that is a terrific rank. That's under my 50,000 fly off the shelf mark, and it's in a really popular category. So that means that these sell really rapidly. So, and I can see that, yep, I'm going to be the only FBA seller for this product. Yay! So I love it. I have a fast selling rank and zero FBA competition. Okay, so here's the breakdown of the fees then, $13.99 to uh, sell, that's my selling price, my fees with FBA. Shipping is very lightweight, so it's only 25 cents. Cost to purchase was $1.79. So my net profit per box will be $6.86. Again, I bought every box that was on the shelf. There were a few boxes on the shelf that were in poor condition. So I just left them there. If you don't know this, this is another side tip. 
Amazon is like super, super picky about their boxes. If your box, if you're mm -hmm. listing your product as new and your box mm -hmm. doesn't look brand new, they will send it back to you. They Things I really like about it is, of course, it's free, so that's always nice. But secondly, you get a lot of information for being a free app. Well, guys, I hope that was useful to you. I hope it was answering what you wanted it to answer. If not, pop down in the comments below any other questions that you have. I'm sure that someone from our YouTube family will answer on my behalf, or I'll answer you, or we'll put it on another video. So thanks, guys. Keep leaving those comments because I really do read them, as you can see from my uh, making this video because you asked for it. And I think it was just the perfect time. So thank you. Thanks for suggesting it. Keep those comments coming. Thumbs up if it was useful to you. And I'll see you next video. Keep rocking it. Bye, guys.